And here with Cooper Donahue of the Richwood Lumberjacks. Richwood gets ready to start the postseason. Uh, first of all, Cooper, how excited are you about the postseason? Now, uh, the fact that you guys have been in so many games, you didn't necessarily win them all, but you were in those games. I mean, coming in to the postseason, we're like trying to get all the pieces put together and everything like that, and just making small errors. We're having one batting a game. We was having more than that, but we're just trying to pick up the pieces and build it better every game. How has it helped having uh, Mike McKinney as your coach? He's a baseball guy, played baseball at, a, at a, one of the area's top schools, and independent mm -hmm. baseball schools at least. How has it helped having him as a coach? I mean, it's helped all of us tremendously, especially not like some kids not knowing the game of baseball. He's helped them know the game, helped me better know the game. And so he's coaching us up really well, teaching us what we're doing wrong and what we need to work on better. What is one of the, I know the motto he says, trust the process, what's one of the things that he's taught you that has helped you become that better baseball player? Definitely, if I, oh, man, that's tough. Definitely if I make a bad play and I, I always put my head down and I don't let it go, he just said just wipe it off, trust the process, you'll pick it up again, you'll get better the next time. As a, as a baseball school, do you feel like Richwood is starting to become that? I know in the past they've had runs as a football mm -hmm. uh, school, which you play football. Yeah. Uh, they've had runs as a basketball, and you are a basketball guy too. Yeah. Do you feel like it's starting to become a baseball school where it's probably never been, at least in the, in the last three or four decades, a, a really top-notch baseball school? I mean, I think it could be a baseball school if everybody just, like, you know, played like – we have – little bit of people like at Richwood. So if we have like a lot of people like focus on one sport, we have people like focus on like three sports, four sports, but I think it might become a baseball school. Just depends on what everybody wants to play. You're one of the guys, I know that your teammate I just talked to, um, Sizemore, he's yeah. a baseball guy. Yeah. Um, you're a three sport guy. You have a, a favorite among those three? Definitely basketball. Basketball is your Basketball. That's Basketball's your my sport. Or, yeah, sport. Yeah. Um, as a basketball guy, you go to a lot of people may you may not know this about Richwood. You guys don't have a high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been in school. You were uh, you'll be a senior next year. Yeah. You've gone to these pods down in Craigsville. Yeah. Um, how tough has that been as an athlete, especially a guy that plays three sports and in, in, in baseball right now, especially? But in school, you got to drive back down to yeah. Richwood to get to practice. How tough has that been? I mean, it's definitely different because. I didn't go to Richwood my freshman year, so like coming there and like coming from Craigsville to Richwood for practice, and then it's just really took a toll on me the first year. But now I'm starting to get back and like used to it and everything. So it's not that much of a hassle. No, get not used really. To doing After you get used to doing it, it's basically like 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 riding a bicycle. You're like already on top of it. What are your expectations for this postseason? Given that you guys have been in just about every game, I mean, you played the likes of Woodrow Wilson, a 3A school, um, who's really playing well now. You caught him <laughs> at, at, during that run. Uh, yeah. How is? What are your expectations, given that you guys have played uh, so many good games against and good teams, maybe not won those games, but been in them? Well, I think what Coach has been telling us is that just – Go out and give it 100% on every play and every game. Don't leave nothing on the field. So that's what I take to heart, and I hope that everybody on the team takes to heart too. What do you have to do? You mentioned cleaning things up that one inning. What do you have to do in your mind to get past that one inning that would allow you to win some of these games and maybe advance in the postseason? Just really not throw the ball away. That's one of our team's biggest difficulties is knowing when to throw the ball and when not to throw the ball. But we're getting – tremendously better but just a little bit more work on that and then we'll have it set you feel like this is a team that in over the next year or two um and like i said you're a junior now over the next uh year or two can maybe get into a position where they're contending in this section and region oh yeah 100 percent. i got faith in these guys 100 percent. all right hey cooper i appreciate it and uh, good luck in the postseason Thanks, sir. starting tomorrow yes, sir.